In this lesson we will study op amps used as series regulators. The high gain, large input impedance, and small output impedance of the op amp make it useful not only for applications in which variation in outputs occur, but also for those in which a constant output level is required. In voltage regulator circuits, where the amplitude of the output voltage should be constant, the op amp can be used as a voltage regulator in many ways. In some regulators, the op amp provides error detection to control the load current and voltage through a resistor. When large output current capabilities are required, a large power transistor replaces the op amp as the source of current as in the figure now shown. In this configuration, the op amp, serving only to control the transistor, functions as a comparator rather than an amplifier in order to detect any variations in the output voltage level. This regulator also uses a Zener diode to set a constant reference level. Reverse current for the Zener is constantly supplied through R1, which is connected to the input voltage R2 and R3, form a series voltage divider at the output, serving to provide a specific fraction of the output voltage back to the input. When input voltage appears, R1 supplies a reverse current to the Zener that will provide its rated reverse voltage level to the non-inverting op amp input. The op amp responds as a comparator, driving the output high and providing base drive to the transistor. As output current flows, the voltage from the R2-R3 divider will rise, raising the input voltage level as well. When the divider voltage reaches the Zener voltage, the op amp's output drops from maximum saturation, since both input voltages are now at the same level, and decreases the transistor's base drive from the initial maximum during turn on to its usual operating level. In this regulator, the Zener diode does not determine the output voltage. The closed loop voltage gain is expressed as 1 plus R2 divided by R3. Thus, the regulated output voltage is approximately equal to the quantity 1 plus R2 divided by R3 times the reference voltage of the Zener diode. For example, using the figure above, if R1 equals 2K ohms, the Zener or reference voltage equals 6.2 volts, R2 equals 20K ohms, and R3 equals 20K ohms, find the output voltage VO. The output voltage is equal to 1 plus R2, 20K ohms, divided by R3, 20K ohms, times the reference voltage of the Zener diode, 6.2 volts, or 12.4 volts. A current limiting circuit, transistor Q2 and R4, has been added to the previous circuit and is now shown. The load current through R4 creates a voltage from base to the emitter of Q2. When the load current I sub L reaches a specific value, the voltage drop across R4 forward biases the base emitter junction of Q2, thus enabling it to conduct. I sub L is limited to its maximum value, I L max, since enough Q1 base current is diverted to the collector of Q2. The voltage across R4 is held at 0.7 volts, and the load current, I sub L max, is limited to 0.7 volts divided by R4. As an example, Using the circuit diagram just shown, let R1 equals 2K ohms, R4 2K ohms, R2 20K ohms, and R3 20K ohms. And the voltage across the Zener diode is 6.2 volts. What is the maximum current in the regulator? The load current, I sub L max, is limited to 0.7 volts divided by R4 2K ohms, or 0.35 amps.